Hi, I'm Daniel Burke, and this is a LaRouche Political Action Committee rally that you're witness to at the moment in front of the New York Times headquarters on 41st Street and 8th Avenue. And we stand here today in the midst of uh, certainly the gravest crisis that our species has ever faced, which is well expressed in this banner that we have before us. Obama leads America to help. Uh, but our mission is to unify the United States to have the courage to stand up against the insanity that is dominating our government today. Uh, at the moment, we are on the brink of a thermonuclear war because of the fact that this man has been tolerated and his provocations against Russia and against China are unprecedented in the history of humanity in terms of the danger that they pose. But as we've laid out in a webcast of the, over the recent weeks, there is a uh, clear train of abuses. Uh, the evidence is before you. And now it's a matter of having the courage to stand up against it. So that's what we're doing today, because the fact of the matter is that the New York Times has been covering up for Obama's satanic drone murders. Uh, it's been released through The Intercept from a new whistleblower, as we've documented in our webcast so far, that Obama is at the top of a chain that is mass murdering civilians. And the New York Times buried this comment, the re release of these documents, at the bottom of an, a column a couple of weeks ago. And then they justified this by claiming that it did not warrant its own story. So we stand here to specifically indicate the editors, the writers who were involved in this cover-up, uh, demand that this be uh, brought to justice effectively. And in the meanwhile, to consider that <laughs> What we need today is for one senator to stand up and to move against Obama. This is what happened with Richard Nixon. And it was in that case that the New York Times had the courage in 1971 to publish the Pentagon Papers. Why will they remain silent on these satanic murders from Barack Obama? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I don't have a teleprompter here, but we're, we're okay. But I do have I'll, I'll tell you my advisor. I'll, I'll tell you what to say, Obama. Tell them that the drone strikes are great. The drone strikes are great. And that we they work very effectively. Uh, and they work effectively. In reducing uh, the, the terrorist threat. And they, they're reducing the terrorist threat. And that, that, the, uh, and, and that every woman uh, and child... And in every the woman and child... In the, in, now hold on, hold on. We're Every okay. Every woman and child. Every woman area, and child in the area that uh, gets drone that is drone striked. That's drone with striked the with the terrorist uh, is actually an enemy combatant. It's actually an enemy combatant. You're not doing it right, Barack. Let me let me speak now. Now the the these drone strikes they're they're one aspect of what we need to do to rid the world of human beings because the world is overpopulated and and it's groaning to get rid of these people. That's this is this is what we need to tell them, Barack. Now. Uh, the idea is that if we don't do this, the, the world will not um, be around much longer if human beings are on it. Human beings are less than animals. That's, that, that, that's what we're up against, okay? This is genuinely what we're up against. It may seem like a, a hilarious caricature, which I think it is, but truthfully, uh, that's the quality of the leadership of the United States at this moment. So how long do you think we're going to survive if you, citizen, don't take action against this evil. Let's summon the courage to stand up for a unified United States. That's what the Manhattan Project is about. Thank you.